Hello again everybody and welcome back to Let's Play... Well, I actually decided I am not going to call this Let's Play Xenosaga Episode 1. Since I'm going to play all three games in the series, I just decided we'll call it Let's Play the Xenosaga series. So, we are on part 3 of Let's Play the Xenosaga series, and in the last part, the shit was hitting the proverbial fan, and Xi'an seems to be in a bit of a pickle. So, let's see what needs to be done here. So, the first thing we need to do is get into this fight, really which we can't win, idea? as we'll soon see. just going to get a message saying that we're not able to defeat the Gnosis and that she needs to find Coach Nelson and Allen. And then somehow the enemies mysteriously die. Or this one mysteriously dies. Now the rest of these enemies, if you happen to come into contact with them, um, you'll get into a fight which you can't win and you can't escape so you will die and you'll get a game over and you'll have to do it all over again. So because I haven't been able to find a working save point yet in this game other than the very first one, I'm going to use a save state as I get past each little area even though it's not difficult. Could it be the entire ship has been taken over by Gnosis? I think so. I wonder if Alan and the others are okay. It's impossible for them to try to defeat the Gnosis without Cosmos. Anyway, it's over if I get caught. I have to get the Cosmos somehow without coming in contact with the enemy. Partition switch? It's better than nothing, I suppose. Anyway, I have to get away from here quickly before the Gnosis notice me. Well, this one's gonna notice you. So, we'll just hit the switch here. Takes care of him. Damn, with so many Gnosis crawling around all over the place, we can't go anywhere. Even if we go on ahead, who knows how many of them will be waiting for us. Keen observation. I have to get past here in order to find everybody. But the Gnosis looks too powerful for me to take on. Well, then let's simply distract him. a couple of holograms. The Gnosis are apparently not the brightest of creatures. Do a safe state there, just in case. Go run in this door. Now we're running. He'll just run on by. Looks like I managed to get past him. And once again, do not use this safe point, so otherwise the game will crash. My girlfriend went out there unarmed. Meanwhile, all I can do is cower right here. I'm so pathetic. Anyway, I should hurry and find someone. Can't we stop it? Nope. It's no use, it's not responding! Cosmos is starting up an auto mode. Huh? Wait a sec! We disabled that mode after the incident. Only the Chief's terminal can enable it. Damn it! Why now? Unless it's reacting to Gnosis. Where's the Chief? She should be heading this way. But the regular UMP channels are congested, and I can't reach her. And the emergency line? I'm trying it now. Oh, 
Lucian. So forgetful. Oh, great. Uh oh. What happened? I don't know. The power just suddenly. Huh? Huh? What? what? is quite badass, if you couldn't tell. Can't say much about the heels, though. this far. I wonder if everyone is okay. Alright. We'll knock this little bastard out into space. You're the one we played tag with. Listen, there's a connection to your plug-in in the eggs hanger. You can fire small amounts of destructive agents with it using the connection gear's transmission function. If we can destroy the car blocking our way, we can escape. Can you get it for me? Hurry, I'll hold them off. Yes. You will bravely cower in the corner. And that is how you will hold them off. One blow, they wrecked the container that the vaporizer plug-in couldn't even destroy. What? The connection gear's vaporizer plug-in? A 
wrecked vehicles blocking the corridor? Here, take it. You know all about destroying things in your way using this, right? I do. Of course I remember. It's crawling with notice up ahead, too. Do you need any emergency provisions? I don't think I do. Take a couple of ether packs. And we'll take one escape pack, even though I doubt we'll need it. Don't mind me, hurry up and get out of here. Don't mind, I do. something up here I can destroy? I think so. Yeah. 200G. Yeah. 5DX. Will the land be taken? Okay, so this part here you just have to basically Avoid these two gnosis up ahead like you did with the two guys you were playing tag with earlier. As you can see, it's very complicated. Alright, so we have safely made it past the gnosis. Sergeant! Sergeant Swain! You... well, if it isn't the lady from Vector. I really like this line of work, but it looks like it's over for me. <coughs> Ugh, oh yeah, take this key. The red door across from me. There's a storage room only I know about. Inside you'll find something I scrolled away. I don't think I'm gonna need it where I'm going, so I want you to take it. Sergeant, hang in there! Sergeant Swain! I liked being a soldier, even though our job is... our job is to die. Obtain Decoder 7. And that's what you need to get into these special doors, our decoders. And in some of these treasure chests you'll find items you can use for your character. Other times you'll find, in this case, a robot part right arm which can be used to uh, get... You can assemble, I think... I've never actually done it in this game, but you can assemble essentially a... a super eggs, or a super robot to use, which will make you essentially... unkillable. But like I said, I've never actually done that in this game. They've only done that... Whoops, I don't that one. Um... The only game where I've ever actually gotten all the decoders and opened all the doors is episode 3. Obtained Ether Pack. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do all the bonus content in all three games. Um, maybe I will in this game and in episode 3. Doubtful I'll do it in episode 2 just because episode 2 is kind of a slog to get through, even though I like it. Episode 2 is definitely the worst of the three. Huh. Walking around like it owns the place.
are you doing here? Six playthroughs later and I still don't know how she didn't die. They just shot 575 million bullets at her. What do you think you're doing? Those bullets could have killed me! What are we doing? What the hell do you think you're doing running around like an idiot? We thought you were a Gnosis! Look, I've got my own problems to deal with. Here I am getting attacked by the Gnosis, I'm getting lost at every turn, and... and don't give me a hard time right now! What the hell? Lost? You're the idiots who built this ship! I'm not with the fleet design department. I wouldn't know a thing about ships. We're on DEFCON 1 alert! What the hell is a civilian like you wandering around the ship for? Well, I've got an emergency. I'm worried about Cosmos. What the hell is Cosmos? Ah, never mind. Deal with it later. Just get to a shelter and stay put. Believe me, if I could, I would. Then why don't you? I just told you, Cosmos is... Ah, shut up! <laughs> hey! They're coming! Get back! Lieutenant! What? You think I'm deaf or something? You... What the... Hey, you! Get away from the wall! to hurry. I can't do that. I can't just run off by myself. We'll have to leave together. Two and a half, three hours into the game. 
Delta Sector has gone silent. Fire control net. Functionality down to 20%. Fire control? What's going on down there? Take out the mothership! We can't! We're too close to fire the cannons! There's a breach in the reactor room! Emergency core shutdown! Switch to reserves! Aids losses have exceeded 70%! I'm trying. This is the cruiser Woglinde with the 117th Marine Division. We're engaged with the Gnosis. Coordinates KX417Y009Z735. Z735. Requesting immediate reinforcements. Repeat, this is the crew. Captain, it must be. No question about it. They're after that thing. Where's our first officer? What happened to Cherenkov? Status. We've connected the main field generator and this block's subreactor. It'll only hold for three minutes, but we can move this ship under power. Bypass connection to the logic drive secured. You can take control from this terminal. That's fine. Good work. Commander, I object. Purging this entire block and executing a gate jump is suicide. You know as well as I do what happens when a human body enters hyperspace unprotected! All that matters is that we get this to the Commander. We'll be at the next column area in a matter of minutes. There's no time. Get in the pod and evacuate with the others. But Commander, the Gnosis are swarming all over the place. We won't stand a chance even if we do evacuate. We should accompany you. Listen. The Gnosis are insignificant. They are nothing compared to what'll happen if it awakes. As soon as you launch the escape pod, inject yourself with eight milligrams of Dig Beta. You'll fall into a temporary near-death state, but that'll keep them from noticing you. Reinforcements from Central Command will arrive in a few hours. You must survive until then, or my death will be for nothing. Commander! Commander. Go now.
against... Lester! What? What do I do? I gotta stop them. There's gotta be a way. But how? Hey, you. What are you doing? Give that back! <clears throat> Quit your whining. I'll give it right back. Hey. They're based on the 508 series, right? So what if they are? It's been almost 14 years now. Since I returned from Milsha, that is. Out in the fields, I took apart so many of them to get what I was looking for. It was a lot of work, you know. What with that dual stage protection they got and all. Dual stage? Lieutenant, you consumed their neuro... But of course, they were quite delicious. How could you? That's when I found out about the control code. It's quite a convenient function you put in there. <gasps> That's right. I'm going to have these marionettes hold off the Gnosis for us. Just like this. Stop it! What do you think they are? This is a clear violation of- Of their rights? That's for peacetime, lady. You think I don't know the Milshan Charter? Milshan Charter, Article 4, Paragraph 13. <sighs> Weapons-grade realians are required to be equipped with a remotely accessible behavioral limit and self-destruct system in case of emergency or malfunction. Use of these functions will be determined by the senior officer in charge of the situation. Am I right? Well, that time is now. And I am the conductor. I intend to make full use of my orchestra. Oh, what a poet. So what are you going to do about it? Tell me, why haven't you disabled that function? Sure, it's factory loaded, but you of all people shouldn't have any trouble removing it. Since you care about them so much, all it would take is a little tweak and they'd be free as birds. And yet you don't. Why not? Because company protocol dictates... Exactly. It's protocol. In other words, you're just like me bound by that protocol. We're the ones that give them a reason to live. Am I wrong? But I... That's the difference between us and them. Am I wrong? So why not give it to them? A meaning to their pitiful existence!
house when you'll realize what's going on. You can't. Just you wait. Keep doing Tomorrow this, Tomorrow she's finally Chief. going to wake up. I'm looking forward Morning, to seeing Cosmos. you come alive, but... How do you feel? There's no point in having a weapon that can't even get out of it's bed. It's all right. This is what we so were why to not do. Give it to Take them. care. A meaning to their... All right. Do you feel sad or anything? What's this girl doing here? Seen her before? Not safe there. Run. Run away. It's no use. My voice. Oh, well, I'm going to die. And this is the end of episode one. Xiang. Uh, yes? We will now proceed to Hangar 1. Huh? There is a 99.998% probability that the Gnosis target is the object stored in that hangar. My assigned duties are to verify and preserve the integrity of that object, and to protect the Vector staff members. Uh, but I... Life pods are located on the second level of the hangar. Please use one to escape. Cosmos. Ch Chief! Disabling auto safety. Destroy all targets. So, yeah, if you couldn't tell, Cosmos is uh, pretty badass.
Virgil doesn't have any special attacks. So attack twice. That's it. Coast Null hit level 4, Virgil's level 5, but we don't really care, because he's not going to stay with us that long. And we acquired one SMG99AG, which, ironically enough, was on my Christmas list last year. I'm going to have a heart attack just watching you. Here you go. It's the Prototype Eggs VX10000 Transport capsule, capsule that HQ sent over. At least it's better than nothing. You know how to use it, right? I'm pretty sure I do. Of course. I just got a little confused with all that's been going on. Please be more careful, okay? I don't know what I'll do if anything were to happen to you. What? Did you say something? Yes, yeah, Shion, I'm thirsty and I want you back. I mean, nothing. Let's go. Let's find an escape pod quickly and get out of here. Alright, so now we can get into fights with the uh, Gnosis. Effect active. Gnosis materialization complete.
bonus for this last enemy. Uh, nope. Alright, we're just gonna go. <laughs> Virgil sounds a little bit madly. had to take the long way around if only the partition was open. Well, let's open it.
find out later. <sighs> this ship is about to capsize. Please make haste. 
Wait, Cosmos. Cosmos, do... Do you understand what you've just done? My assigned duty is to protect Vector employees. Protection of military personnel is not part of my prime directive. That's no excuse! You have no right to go about killing people! Why did you shoot Lieutenant Virgil? With your power, you don't have to sacrifice anyone to- At that time, Lieutenant Virgil was in my direct line of fire. Any changes in my firing position to avoid Lieutenant Virgil while protecting you would have resulted in a 30% depreciation in my offensive capabilities. On the other hand, with the Lieutenant's death, there would only be a 0.2% drop in efficacy. I simply chose the option with the highest probability to keep you alive. Furthermore, the escape pod has a maximum capacity of two occupants. I believe it is obvious who gets priority. How could... How can you even say that? Have you no conscience? Xion, you forget I am not human. I am merely a weapon. You, of all people, should be well aware of that fact. What is your decision? Will you board the escape pod? Or will you not board the escape pod? If you wish to express remorse for his death, it is best that you survive. Otherwise, you will render his death meaningless. Come on, Chief. Let's go. Safety. Destroy all targets. All right. What are we gonna do here? I don't want to die. I don't want to die. 
die? I haven't saved. Or at least I'm gonna have to, uh... By the way, how many times in a row do these guys get to attack? Oh my god, I'm gonna have to load from a previous save state. Are you kidding Shutting me? Down. This is horseshit. Um, Here. Returning to battle. Alright, well, I'm gonna pop her into the A. Seriously? Oh 
Unbelievable. Holy shit, am I actually gonna win? Oh, please, Jesus in heaven, thank you. I do not remember ever having that hard of a time with that fight. Shion leveling up like a boss. That was way too stressful of a fight this early in the game. Okay, so we got an escape path and a skill upgrade. Wow. is about to go beast mode. Affirmative. The target object was not the original. Affirmative. It was an emulator. Roger. Upon deploying tracking device, I will depart immediately. As originally planned, I will head for second Milsha. Would you like to save? I would like to save. Now, let's see. I'm going to do a save state here. Fingers crossed. Will it let me save here or will the game crash? And the answer is the game's going to crash. So, let's go back here and hit no. Was, they sure went all out. You think there's anything left out there? Hey, Tony! 
How long before the Federation gets here? Well, let's see. The last SOS went out a half an hour ago, so... We've probably got at least three hours, right? No sign of any nearby ships either. Right, Hammer? Yep. We're the only ship within a 5,000 light year radius. All right. That should be enough. Let's grab anything that looks salvageable. You know, Captain, I realize the deadline for paying back Master Guinan is right around the corner, but don't you think this is a little risky? I mean, if the Feds find us out, we'd be lucky to get ten years. That's if they find out. You know the Feds aren't gonna patrol all the way out here in the middle of nowhere. Well, I just don't like the idea of feeding off the dead. I mean, what are we? Space jackals? Vultures? Hyenas? You moron. What kind of metaphor is that? Don't be comparing us to extinct animals. You'll jinx us. We're recyclers, dammit. Environmentally friendly space recyclers. Master Guinan told us to stay away from any side jobs, remember? He said it hurts the Foundation's image. I don't know. Oh ho! We got a wrecked ship here, three o'clock. Looks like a Ganymede class. Nice work there, Tony. Good thing we were tapping the UMN emergency channel. Come on, pull in close, hurry. Yep, we're vultures. What was that? Spectrum matches up perfectly. It's a geocrystal. All right, not bad. Let's start with that one. Ugh! That's not a geo crystal, you idiot. It's a corpse. Well, what'd you expect? This is a battlefield. That's no big deal. Don't bother wasting fuel. Just keep going and let it bounce off. You're kidding, right? My dead grandma told me to be respectful of the dead. Sorry, but I don't want any bad karma. You do it, Captain. You moron. What? Is that your grandfather out there? Don't be ridiculous. Just shut up and keep moving. Man, not again. Captain, this is so typical of you, making us do all the dirty work. You moron! What the hell are you doing? I said bounce it off! Well, don't look at me. It got stuck on its own. It's not my fault. Whatever. Just get rid of it. Hey, it's a girl. She might be cute, you know? <laughs> <laughs> my ass, you sicko. Who the hell cares how she looks? She's dead. Exactly. Besides, she's facing the other way. It's a shame we can't meet face to face. Please open your communications line. I need to speak with you. Frequency 2020. Ah, a talking corpse! You moron! Open your eyes! That ain't no corpse! This ain't happening. This ain't happening! It, uh, it's a realian, or a cyborg, something like that. But I've never heard of a realian that can operate out in space. Well, it's probably a military robot or something. Just open the channel. Uh, <clears throat> I'm Captain Matthews of the Tramp Freighter Elsa. We received your SOS signal earlier. It happened to be within range of our navigational path, uh, so we rushed here to your rescue. Huh? Rescue? rescue? Oh! Uh, <clears throat> so... Is there anything we can do to assist you? What do you mean, rescue? What about our side job? Relax, you moron. We're gonna grab what we can while taking care of this little rescue. With this miss, I bet there's no one left alive anyway. I will make this brief. I request that you gate jump to second Milsha immediately. Say what? Oh yeah. Keep dreaming, sweetheart. We can't leave yet. We still got work to do. And besides, second Milsha? Have you any idea how much it would cost to travel that far? There is no need for concern. We will cover all UMN gate fees incurred. You expect us to believe that? Even if that were true, 
We've got other business to attend to right now. We don't have that kind of time. My time is limited as well. Failure to comply will result in the destruction of this window. <laughs> Go ahead, give it a try. The Elsa's forward window can withstand direct hits from debris as big as six millimeters. But can it withstand a Punch hit from, from a her girl like you wouldn't even dent. <laughs> One more strike and this window will shatter. Or her it fist? appears that none of you are wearing spacesuits. Keep in mind that I am making this proposal with goodwill. I could just as easily toss you out into space and take over the ship. Ah, okay, okay! Yeah, we'll do it, we'll do it! Don't be so rash! Had you accommodated me from the outset, we would have saved 1 minute 45 seconds. I am coming on board now. Please open the cargo bay. Yeah, right. One more thing. What? What? Do not accelerate in an attempt to knock me off. If you do so, I will destroy the engine and the entire ship with it. <sighs> She's got us, Red. Shut up. Captain, I've got someone on the open channel. Who could it be? Survivors? Uh oh. Uh, hold on. I'll put it on the speakers. Hello? Is anybody out there? Hello? Anyone? If anyone is scanning this channel, please help! Come on, Chief, you give it a try. Don't worry. A rescue ship will come for us eventually. I'm more concerned about Cosmos. Now, where could she be? How would I know? Besides, we're not out of the woods yet. I mean, the Gnosis might still be around. I'm not worried about that right now. We have to retrieve Cosmos. Forget about Cosmos. What about us? Uh, if I knew this was going to happen, I wouldn't have let everyone else go first. Maybe they're still around. You think? I can't believe you. Alan, how can you be so insensitive after all that's happened? What do you mean? Of course I'm traumatized. Chief, that was really uncalled for. You think that I'm an emotionless android? For you to even think that is the most traumatizing thing of all. No, I never said anything like that. You just did. You think I'm an android, don't you? What the hell? Huh? Hey! Xion. Cosmos? Cosmos, is that you? Where are you right now? I am on board a civilian ship passing through the area. Please remain at your current locale. A Federation rescue vessel should arrive soon. Remain here? Cosmos, just what are you up to? I am commandeering this ship to go to Second Milsha. These are my orders from headquarters. You're going wait. Wait a second! What about us? Unfortunately, you were not mentioned in my orders. Therefore, this mission takes priority. Oh, I see. What, you expect us to sit here and wait for the cavalry? That is the logical conclusion. Wait a second! What guarantee do we have that the Federation will dispatch a rescue? What if no one comes? The two of us will starve to death inside this pod! You can't do this! Actually, suffocation would come first. Your air supply will be depleted in 46 hours. Oh, in that case... Suffocation?! That is correct. But there is a 96% probability that a rescue vessel will arrive within 15 hours. Your chances of survival are high, but this is not a certainty. Uh, 
But... There's no way I'm going to allow this. You cannot act on your own, Cosmos. Bring us on board immediately. There is no time for this. I am signing off. Xion, Alan, please take care. Now just wait one second, Cosmos. You better bring us on board, or I'll open the hatch. You hear me? What? What are you doing, Chief? Please, don't do anything crazy. Be quiet, Alan. Listen to me, Cosmos. You know what'll happen if I turn this lever, right? Doesn't this go against your directive? After all, you're supposed to bring us back alive. Am I right? You are delaying me from my mission. I suggest you do as you please. Cosmos! You don't believe I'll do it, do you? I'm serious, you know. What? She's really gonna do it! Why not help her? And that is chaos. Sounds like she means it. Hey, Chaos. You're up. With all this racket, who could sleep? So, is that okay with you? Well, it looks like she doesn't have any objections. So it's all up to you, Captain. What do you say? Think we ought to rescue them? Uh, well, if you say so. Sure, I don't mind. Tony? Excuse us. Uh, um, we... I'm Captain Matthews. My name is Shion Uzuki, and I'm from Vector Industries' first R&D division. And this is my co-worker, Alan Ridgely, who also works in the same division. We do apologize for all the trouble our errant cosmos may have caused you. Come on, Ellen. Show them your gratitude. Uh, right. Thank heavens you were around to rescue us. We almost became space dust out there because of my stubborn boss here. <laughs> ah! You ought to save your thanks for chaos over there. We were just gonna leave you and fly on out of here. Oh, I see. Thank you, Chaos. No, don't mention it. After all, we all need a little help sometimes. Yeah. He often saves our hides too. So, we can't turn him down when he asks for a favor. I see. That reminds me. Hey, Cosmos. And just what do you think you're doing? You left us and then tried to go to Second Millship by yourself. Maybe your OS is malfunctioning or something. Yes, that is possible. By the way, what were the orders from HQ? Captain Matthews, may I use the maintenance lab next to the hangar? Just a second, Cosmos. Yeah, sure. What for? Cosmos? Due to the limitations of the test juice condenser, my energy reserves are almost depleted. I wish to receive a co-generator bypass in order to replenish them. Hey! What is wrong with you? Answer me, Cosmos! So, you'll cover the bill, right? Yes. Cosmo- Xion. Uh, yes? My sensors appear to be malfunctioning. Please adjust them before we disembark at our destination. Wh why should I? Please, Xion. This is part of your job, is it not? Oh. 
I'm terribly sorry. The girl is just so stubborn. I do apologize for all the trouble she's causing. It's all right, I'm actually enjoying it. This ship's much livelier with more crew members. You got that right. We can always use some more women around here. How about it? Once we arrive, how about you and I get a suite and settle in with a nice bottle of wine? What? Hey! Uh-huh. Uh, sure. All right, that's enough, Tony. Never mind her, at least she's a real girl. The other one's not even human, she's battle weaponry. You think so, huh? She appears to be just like any other human to me. Captain, any chance of stopping at Sunir? Hmm? That's en route on the column. Three or so days from Italia. If that's your destination, sure, I can do that. I see. And the fee? Today just ain't my day, and getting greedy now won't do me any good. I'll just put it on the tab. I appreciate it. Ah, don't mention it. You're a Marine. Let's just chalk it up to my bit of charity for the Corps. Still lurking around. Ah, it's coming in! Son of a bitch! Chaos! I know. If you know, then. Chaos! It's okay. That's what I meant when I said he looks out for us. Looks out for you? How did he just do that? I've never heard of a human that can defeat Gnosis. There are those who draw well, and those who run fast. Hammer's navigational skills are top-notch, and his knowledge of the net is vast. Tony's helmsmanship skills are unrivaled. No one even comes close. Or so he claims. The captain? Well, no one holds a greater amount of debt than the captain. Ah, yes. Hey, wait a second. I believe everyone has at least one skill that they excel in over all others. It's something that defines who they are. Xion, what is it that defines you? Huh? Me? Well, I... It's the same for me. It's just something I can do. Yep, that's all there is to it. Ah. I see. Right. I think I get it. It sort of makes sense when you put it that way. Yep, that's how it is. That's all that. What the... How can you be convinced by that? That was a Gnosis, Chief. A Gnosis! Well, Captain. We'd better head for our destination before she throws us off the ship. The girl seems to be a stickler for schedules and all. Man, oh man. So much for my grandiose plans. After this job, I was supposed to pay off my debts, then head to Keltia to see the Seraphim sisters live in concert. Bah, you owe Master Guinan too much. You'll never pay it all off. And man, the Seraphim sisters again? You're really hot for them, aren't you? Captain, you don't actually have to go all the way out to Keltia. Why don't you just connect to the UMN and watch it later? You moron. Getting a visual feed is nothing compared to immersing yourself in the real thing. 
There's a world of difference between the two. It's all about reality. Who are you kidding? It's all the same. Your brain can't tell the difference. Why, you... Hurry up and take us out of here. All right. Roger that. Well then, I'll take Xion and the others to their rooms. That's very kind of you. All right, you do that. Damn! Today's been one hell of a day. Master Wilhelm, I have a report from Cosmos. Xian Uzuki and Alan Ridgely have both joined up with Cosmos. I see. This is fortunate. Especially since there's an unidentified ship closing in on the battlefield. And if the ship were to threaten the girl, Cosmos would protect her. Is that not right? Yes. That would be the prime directive. Either way, it was a wise decision to pull back Cosmos. There's no need for us to continue serving them or the Federation any longer. Besides, the data for the Rhine Maiden is now complete. All phenomena are moving forward as specified by this compass of order. As for the rest... Gather the necessary factors and wait for the other one to awaken. And once again, I'm going to attempt to save. Do a save state. Is it going to let me save here? I'm going to guess no. Oh my god, it is. Holy crap. Wow. What's one and a half billion people to us? Their innocence. Surely they deserve more respect. Respect? For what? Save your philanthropy for someone that cares. The experiment may have been a failure, but I've taken steps to recover the emulator. If the need arises, I'm not against using the original either. All we have to do is repeat the process until we get results. Is this all too much for your conscience to bear, Pellegrin? In that case, feel free to reveal everything and wait for your death sentence. What about you? Me tried in a court of ignoble commoners? Don't make me laugh. We are the ones who determine life or death. But wait. Pellegrin, are you telling me that you've forgotten everything we've been striving for these past 14 years? Commander Margulis. What? A message from Lieutenant Commander Vanderkam, sole survivor of the Vanguard Force. The unit was decimated. The Zohar emulator unsecured. Where's the Zohar now? Location unknown. Possibly seized by the Gnosis. I see. Notify the 474th Spec Ops Fleet. We may need to implement Plan 31. Oh, Have them stand 31. by in the specified coordinates for further orders. Yes, sir. So, what can you tell us about this man? He was a special forces agent with the Federation Police, a counter-terrorism specialist. Of course, that was over a hundred years ago. 
Now he's a cyborg working freelance missions. A cyborg? How anachronistic. He's a relic from the days when they reanimated the dead. They didn't have disposable realians like we do now. Well, he's certainly got quite a resume. Rumor has it he deliberately seeks out missions with low odds of success. Is he insane, or just fascinated with death? Well, he's been given a clean bill of mental health. It doesn't look like he does it for the killing. Hmph. Advances in science have placed thousands of drugs on our shelves. And yet, we still let psychiatrists wield their influence over us. They use these assessments to validate their existence. I don't believe them one bit. Well, he's got an extremely high success rate. I think he'll be fine. Sir, he's here. Show him in. That'll be all. Yes, sir. Ziggurat 8, isn't it? Upon your death in TC4667, you donated your body and chose to become a product of Ziggurat Industries. That's correct. Have you heard about the mission? No. Recently, we received information that a certain armed group has shown signs of resurgence. This same group was responsible for the events that took place 14 years ago. The UTIC organization? That's right. The information we've received from our independent sources has helped to identify the location of the UTIC organization's hideout. This structure was originally a shrine for some long-lost ancient religion. It was eventually abandoned and remained uninhabited for centuries. So, you want me to infiltrate and collect information on the group? If that was all we needed, we would have left it to our intelligence agency. Actually, to put it simply, we need you to rescue someone and return her to her rightful place. And technically, she's not human. Just tell me what I need to know. <laughs> A child? Is she a civilian? She's a Realian. A 100 series Realian. You've heard of them? The 100 series observational Realians, built specifically to combat the Gnosis. I've heard rumors of them. But I didn't know they were disguised as children. Is this the first time you've seen the real thing? Yes. But isn't Vector already mass-producing them? This is a prototype. It will serve as the model for all future 100 series observational units. So, what you're telling me is that securing this little girl takes priority over all else, right? It helps that you're a quick study. So, will you take the mission? A cyborg has no rights. I cannot refuse your request. I will analyze the situation and let you know what weapons and resources I need. I don't mean to demand any compensation, but may I make one request? Go ahead. After my return, I ask that you eliminate the neural memories residing in my brain from my previous life. That's not a problem. But it could be a difficult procedure with a body as outdated as yours. Add as many synthetic parts as necessary. What an odd request. These days, Realians are clamoring for human rights. But here's a man who wants to become a machine. All right, we'll make the arrangements. Thank you. You can get the specifics from her, Dr. Yuri Mizrahi, later. He didn't die in the line of duty. It says here he committed suicide. 
one shot in the head from his beloved pistol. Did you say suicide? Can we entrust the 100 series to that man? What if his self-destructive tendencies arise? Not to worry. He's been equipped with a safety mechanism which prevents him from hurting himself or abandoning his mission. He was brought back to life against his will. Once he replaces the rest of his brain with synthetics, he'll be a complete machine. Only then... will he be legally dead. And that was our intro to Ziggy. And there is Momo. How are you feeling, 100 series Realion? Is the food here unsatisfactory? Even realians require nourishment, you know. Are the Federation's 100 series realians so ill-mannered that they don't even reply to simple questions? I don't like that name. Well, my goodness, pardon me. And what would you like to be called, Miss 100 series realian? I don't like strangers to be calling me by my name. Where are you planning on taking me? That, I'm afraid, is not for you to know. What will happen to me? You're going to help us out. Machines like you exist to be used. What happens to you after that, God only knows. Assuming you people even have a God, that is. All I can really do is seek out and find the Gnosis. I can't help you with anything! That may be true, but this part of you is a little different. We'd like to have a word with the man you have hidden inside of you. <gasps> In any case, you'd best be keeping yourself alive as long as possible. He will be arriving soon. This objective is to rescue a 100 series realien. Now, where is she being held captive? I don't want to cause a commotion until I find the realien. It'd be best to, to avoid unnecessary confrontations. Okay, we are gonna call it quits here because it is late and I need to get to bed so I can go to work tomorrow. So, let's do a save state. Let's see if this save point works. It does. Excellent, excellent. So pleased two save states in a row worked. So this is it for part three. We made some progress. We saw the Wool Glinda get destroyed. We got introduced to the Else crew. Kosnal saved our ass. Got introduced to Ziggy and Momo. So we'll see what's in store in part four. So until then, this is JB3. Have a good night.